If the ocean had tales to tell, there would be whispers of a shadow so vast, it could eclipse today's mightiest whales. A predator so fearsome, even the bravest would think twice before venturing into its territory. Welcome, ocean enthusiasts, history buffs, and the simply curious, to the enigmatic world of the Megalodon. While today our seas are filled with awe-inspiring creatures, from the playful dolphins to the regal blue whales, there once swam a predator that put them all in the shade. Cast your mind back, way back, around 2.6 million years to be exact. The Earth looked a bit different. Continents were slowly shuffling into places we might recognize today. But beneath the waves, a ruler undisputed held court, the Megalodon. Its name alone sends shivers down the spine and evokes wonder. Derived from ancient Greek, it literally means big tooth. And boy, did this creature live up to its name. Now, if you ever felt a pang of fear while watching a modern-day shark movie, imagine encountering this behemoth. But fear not. Today, we aren't diving into treacherous waters. Instead, we're diving deep into history, tales, and tantalizing mysteries surrounding this ancient oceanic marvel. While Hollywood paints one picture of this legendary creature, science and fossil records tell a different, but equally riveting story. A tale of evolution's triumph, of nature's boundless imagination, and of an era when giants truly ruled the depths. Ready for a journey like no other? Strap in, keep your arms and legs inside the time machine, and let's go back, way back, to a time when the Megalodon was the uncontested emperor of the oceans. To truly fathom the Megalodon, one must first understand its place in the vast tapestry of life. Officially termed Carcharocles Megalodon, this marine marvel was a member of the Otodontida family. A common misconception is imagining it as just a supersized version of today's great white shark. But the reality, they're more like distant cousins. Now, the name Megalodon isn't just a cool sounding word. It translates to big tooth. Imagine a tooth roughly the size of a human hand. That's the kind of dental equipment we're talking about. And as teeth go, these weren't just big, they were marvels of evolution. Finally serrated and built for precision, they could slice through prey like the sharpest of knives through butter. Ever wondered where this titan roamed? Think less a specific region and more. Global domination. From the balmy coasts of prehistoric Japan to the bygone beaches of the Americas, Megalodon's footprint, or should we say, finprint, was everywhere. For a span of roughly 20 million years, this creature held a passport to the entire ocean. Warm tropical waters, Megalodon's playground, chilly deep sea currents. Just another Tuesday for this beast. But here's a fun fact. Many of the Megalodon teeth we find today are in places you'd least expect. River beds, mountains, even deep within continents. Why? Well, that's Earth's tectonic plates and erosion at work, taking us on a trip back in time when what's now land was once submerged. A creature this vast doesn't just survive on seaweed and plankton. Folks, its menu, a delectable range of marine mammals, large fish, and occasionally, other sharks. Here's a chilling thought. The Megalodon hunted much like today's predatory sharks, but on an epic scale. Imagine a humpback whale, a majestic creature in its own right, suddenly ambushed from below. In a matter of seconds, the megalodon would target the whale's flippers or its tail, immobilizing the behemoth. But here's where it gets truly cinematic. Employing its deadly bite force, it could then go in for the kill. A bite force estimated at over 40,000 pounds meant that whatever the megalodon set its sights on didn't stand much of a chance. But beyond the sheer power, it's the strategy that's truly intriguing. Our marine mastro preferred ambush over a long chase, and it's not hard to see why. When you're that size, stealth becomes your best friend. Shadows in the water, a swift upward movement, and before the prey knows it, it's game over. The dance of life has always fascinated us. But when it comes to the megalodon, this dance takes on epic proportions. 
Although the intimate details of their love life remain shrouded in the mists of prehistory, some educated guesses paint a vivid picture. Imagine, if you will, a megalodon serenading another with, well, whatever romantic gestures a gigantic shark might make. Jokes aside, much like many of today's sharks, it's believed the megalodon gave birth to live young. These weren't your everyday baby fish, mind you. Emerging into the world at sizes that could already rival some of the larger marine predators, these baby megalodons were set for success from day one. Imagine being born and instantly being on top of the food chain. Talk about a head start in life. A creature of megalodon's caliber doesn't become legendary just by being big. It's the unique quirks that truly set it apart. While the massive teeth are certainly a highlight, there's more to this creature than just a dazzling smile. The megalodon boasted a unique set of finely serrated teeth, engineered for precision. One could say they were nature's perfect steak knives. And speaking of jaws, the megalodon's jaw wasn't just massive, it was a marvel of biomechanics. With a bite force that could crush a car, not that they had cars to snack on back then, it's no wonder they were the kings and queens of the ocean. But there's more. Ever thought about the fin of a megalodon? Estimates peg it to be the height of an average human. It wasn't just about size. This fin was crucial for navigation, stability, and speed. A perfect blend of form and function. As much as we'd like to imagine a world where megalodons still lurk in the deep, the reality is starkly different. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, classifies species based on their threat levels, from those on the brink of extinction to those thriving in the wild. Megalodon, sadly, falls beyond even this scale. It's not just extinct. It has been for millions of years, but it's important to talk about it. Why? Because the tales of such mighty beings stand as silent sentinels, reminding us of nature's power, resilience, and the ever-present cycle of life and death. Their extinction wasn't just the end of a species, it marked a shift in the tectonics of oceanic life. From mysterious mating rituals to jaw-dropping jaws, the Megalodon isn't just a chapter in Earth's grand book, it's a saga, rich, thrilling, and punctuated with lessons for the ages. As we dive deeper into our oceans and learn more about our past, one thing becomes clear. The stories of these giants aren't just tales of what was, but also whispers of what can be. Our oceans are vast, and our tales, even vaster.